I believe we are streaming now. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to come through. And there we go. I've got the uh I've got the Twitch chat open on another computer because I can't like find a setup for this particular uh, game. There we go. That's been a problem for like every single person who like I've co commed with. Yeah. But yeah. Like, um, having to read the chat at the same time. Uh no, the uh the echo. Oh yeah. Because um it, it wasn't an echo, it was like um because I had the uh, speakers on. Like I don't have my headphones like the wire that connects my headphones to the speakers at the moment. So, okay, like, um, yeah. That was yeah, that was a problem for me in particular early on because I didn't have headphones that could connect to my computer. Mm. And now I do, so it means that you're not going to echo, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Unless something goes horribly wrong. Anyway, what do you, uh... What do you know about Toho Project? Um... I know it's got an anime-made version. I know it's got a made girl version of Dio. Yes! And hopefully, we will be meeting her on this stream. Yeah. But this is a pretty difficult game, so yeah, it's never, it's maybe. Yeah. I've heard. Um, I can't remember her name, the uh, knife lady, but um, I've heard her theme because someone made a pingus remix of it. Oh, Night of Nights. Night of Nights. That was it. Yeah. Well, the the song is lo Wait, no. The song is Flowering Nights. Oh yeah. Or flowering. Yeah. And then there's also a fan game where she's the main character, and it's called Lunar Nights. And uh, oh, I nearly died there. Sorry. I don't think this stream is going to be like particularly good gameplay, like uh, which is a shame. But like, to be fair, that's not what all people are looking for. Sometimes people just want to sit around and have a laugh. That's fair. That's fair. Because, like, um, you know my uh, Swedish friend is, uh, like, she does streaming as well, so, like, um, if you want, like, I can put you, I can put you in touch with her and see if she has any tips for you. Oh, interesting. A Swedish friend. I don't quite remember. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Um, her Twitch name is Shadow Coon. Shadow Coon. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh! What was I saying? I feel... Yeah, but uh, this morning I did a lot of work trying to figure out accounting terms uh, because I'm. Oh no. Uh, because I'm trying to like get through a course on accounting. Uh, uh, right. uh, and I kind of understand it a little bit better, but it's like learning a new language, really. I didn't realize that it wouldn't just be like doing sums. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. And then I spent an inordinate amount of time figuring out a video game character's gender. As we do. Yeah. Ooh. I remember Game Theory did it with the Pyro ones. Yeah. This one was like. This one was a little different. Uh, are you familiar with, like, Guilty Gear? I don't know too much about it. But I know I know of it. It's, um... That's one that's all bad guys from. Yes. Yes, it is. And, like, uh, like... my buddy Reyna uh, is, like, a really big fan of it. Mm. And they recently, uh, like, announced there was going to be a character who was like coming back from former entries and like right. they've it's it's really interesting because it's an existing character but they're taking them in like new directions exploring their like gender identity which is like yeah, so like recognizing the character it's it's so weird like it's weird in a really good way because like 
the plot of their story mode is them figuring out their gender. And oh it's God. like not even done like it's it's so it's it's so tastefully handled and like yeah. it never becomes overbearing or anything. I am yeah, this is not my victory run. But like Yeah. Isn't it? Cause like a lot of the time you get things like that, they're either handled very shittily and the characters are just like caricatures. Or it becomes kind of preachy. So it's good to have that kind of good balance. Yeah. And it's weird because like the in it's the entire thing, but it's never preachy or mishandled. At least yeah. in my opinion. I I, I I know I have a limited perspective, but like it's very cool. And it like it even like explores other characters mm. like character it's 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 really good. I I was just like listening to the story mode and it's like, huh, this is actually really interesting. Yeah. Cause like um a lot of the time you get people saying like um, oh person's politics shouldn't be their main shouldn't be their identity or like um I think all the facts that their whatever whatever they identify as shouldn't be the center point of their character. And like mm. you kinda get that with them um, this one even though the story's about them discovering their gender identity and like kind of working out what it is. Like the gender identity itself isn't the center focus of the story, it's like the search for their identity. Hmm. So like for so like um there's been tons of really good stories that have done that, like uh, Rango, for example, that's about sort of finding identity. Rango. Sounds familiar. Have you not seen Rango? I have not seen Rango. Please tell this me. Is from, like, little lizard good man, played by Johnny Depp, who becomes a cowboy. Oh! That's the, uh, I tip my hat to you. Yeah, that's what it's from. There's, um, yeah, because that's a rattlesnake cheek, who has the objective coolest design I've ever seen on an animal character. A cowboy snake. Imagine it. With, so he, not only is he a cowboy snake, he's like a little, uh, um, scent picker up thingies. They're arranged like um, Angel Eyes' mustache from uh, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. He's played by Bill Nye, and his, the rattle on his tail is a minigun made of revolver cylinders. What the fuck? He has such a cool design, and I love them. Oh my god, that is. Oh my god! And, make, and he's so much, so much more intimidating as a villain as well because, like, um, he's so much bigger than the rest of the cast. That is so cool. It's like um, the Undertaker from WWE, it's like um, seeing him like stood next to anybody else. Can you hear any of the audio? Um, um, I just um, I turned my uh, speaker off, so it wasn't um, so I didn't hear it from two places at once. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know no, that no, that no. can be yeah. difficult. Oh, yeah. um, sorry, I just turned the speaker off. I just I forgot. Seeing yeah. him like stood next to anybody else. Oh, I'm going up on the stream. Yeah, yeah, I can't hear it. Again. I guess that's why you don't do that, but like. I want you to hear for just a second how fucking cool the music is. Hang on, let me just turn it on again. Do you hear any of the audio? I don't know, they just uh, turned my speaker off so it wasn't uh, so it didn't hear two places at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the audio kicks ass. It's so good. Now, I do seem to be dying quite badly. Uh, yeah. It is totally it's gonna happen. Yeah, but like I think my prediction was quite right. I I I had done a lot better on other uh, things, and now I've yeah, got to now I've got to update my uh, my notes to include. I've been keeping a tally of how many uh, times I've failed. Uh, well, not failed. How many attempts I've put into Toho? Yeah, um, like. Uh... 
Never let them attempt to calculate geometry dash. Yeah, there, there isn't one in the game, so I have to keep one myself. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, or maybe there's like a mod to put one in. There's, there is a pretty good like modding scene. I mean, I'm technically already playing a mod because it's like the translation itself is a mod. And the uh, translation yeah. is also kind of stilted in places. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get that with things like this. Yeah. If we, oh, uh, okay. if we get up to the final boss at all, I'd love to show you like a, a sentence which I just do not understand at all. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna tighten up the run this time. Yeah, so um, I feel like I'm saying I'm playing um, Spyro earlier today. Spyro, yeah, that's a classic. Um, yeah, because um, like my PS4 broke again. It's I think it's just faulty. Oh. I wasn't working over the summer to get a new one, but um, obviously everything's happened, and I'm trying to deal with that instead of getting just uh, getting a job. But, like um. Oh, yeah, I was playing Spyro, and if I don't mind, I thought there was this um, cheat code that makes Spyro really fat. But that was a mod. Oh. Oh, but you can give him a giant head, a tiny head, tiny wings, and sunglasses. Which, in, if you have the Switch version, you can also make them into gay sunglasses. Hell yeah! Mm hmm. <laughs> well, I did see a um another mod for the, the PC version, which I absolutely adore. Like, um, you know, in Spyro, you get followed around by Sparks, who act as your health. Wait, is that? Yeah, Sparks is the dragonfly that changes color when you get hit. Oh yeah, it's the guy. I played like the. L I'm very sorry. The limit of my Spyro knowledge is like gameplay strats, kind ah. of, and then. Uh, like the opening of the very first Spyro game, and then Skylanders, which I understand is not the premier place to figure out Spyro lore. Yeah, when he looks like a pug that was put into a dragon suit, it's not going to be the best Spyro. Oh, piss. Like, um, I was to say, when I was um, about five ish, my cousin gave me Spyro 3. And then. Like, I just that was feel... the first game I played for a while. Then I played I... Skylanders, I came out. I do still like Skylanders, even if it's like very, very different from Spyro. Yeah, and they did make Crash Bandicoot Australia. And they're making Tor. Yes! Plan, That's right, I forgot about that! I keep on forgetting about that. <laughs> that reminds me. I've talked about it uh, before on the stream, but I don't think I've told you. Uh, I I think it would be pretty cool to for me to play, uh, like. Okay, do you know Crash of the Titans? Oh yeah, the remakes, the uh, reboot of Crash, where it looks like um, a new metal guy with loads of tribal tattoos up his arms and ripped shorts. Yeah, I really I really like it, but it's purely nostalgia for me. Uh, yeah. because that was the one that was coming out when I was a kid. And I had this idea, because the game has really poorly scaled difficulty. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, like, every time I die, I read five pages of Warrior Cats. That but with, like, Dark Souls or Elder or something? Yeah. Well, I Crash, Crash of the free. Titan hard mode is pretty hard. It's really easy yeah. to just get, like, one-shotted or two-shotted. I think the um, hardest game I've played is probably Devil May Cry 3. Hmm. Because, like, um, you know when, in, like, well, I played the Special Edition, so I didn't have this experience, but when they originally released it in the West, they got the difficulty wrong. Like, um, they, it's like, in, Japanese, in the Japanese version, it started you off with um, normal mode and hard mode, and then easy mode would be on the first time you died. Mm. So then, um, but then, 
Uh, the American version's not that wrong. The, well, the normal mode is easy and the hard mode is normal. The normal mode is the easy. And the American version was like difficult was like a difficulty one up. Oh. So it, was, the, so it was slightly harder. Yeah. It's why everyone plays the uh, special edition, because um the difficulty is like the way it's supposed to be, and you get to play as Virgil. Yeah. I know nothing about Virgil, but like God, I I swear you've recommended DMC for a while now, and I still haven't yeah. played it. I'm real sorry. It's, about it. it's on the list somewhere. I give you my copies, but three of them were downloaded onto my PS4. One of them's on my PS3, and one of them's um, in on my PS4 as well. Hmm. Is it true? It's Wait, quintessential. It's quintessential. Hmm. Is it on? Is it on Switch? Or am I misremembering that? Uh, one through three are on Switch. Okay. And they actually added a bunch of stuff for Devil May Cry 3 Switch. They did a style switching, which came in Devil May Cry 4. And um, in the original game, you can you can only choose two weapons and swap between them. And then in four and five, you can switch between all of Dante's weapons. And uh, they brought that back in, and they changed that to three. In the uh, Switch version. Okay, wait. Sorry, could you repeat that? Okay, so um. Um, in the Switch version of Devil May Cry 3, they added style switching, which wasn't in the original Devil May Cry 3. Okay, so that changes how, like, the gameplay works? Yeah, because, like, um, in 4 and 5, you can you can just press the D-pad and change style whenever you want. And the style is what, change, is what the uh, circle button does. So you start out with 4, you have Trickster, Gunslinger, Royal Guard, and, gun, uh, and um, Swordmaster. Swordmaster gives you a special move with your melee weapon. Gunslinger gives you a special move with your ranged weapon. Trick still lets you dash and teleport about. And then... Royal Guard is like the hardest one, but it's the most satisfying because basically it gives you like a mini block. Which does almost nothing, but then if you time it right you can counter the opponent. So yeah, like, um, in the original Devil May Cry 3, you had to go to, like, the, um, Golden Lioness statues, where you would, like, buy upgrades and swap your weapons to change styles, but now you can just do it on the fly. Oh! And the same with, uh, yeah, and the same with the, uh, weapons. You would originally, initially choose two to swap between in the original Devil May Cry, but now you can swap between all of them at once. Which is much better, really, because it's, um, like, it makes the combat more interesting. Yeah, like having having different like setups, I guess. I like I like that. Especially like, like the like... risk reward thing. I mean that's kind of that's kind of like um uh what is it it's like That's kind of like what the heaven and hell difficulty is. And that's like yeah, yeah. my favorite thing that I've ever heard about Devil May Cry. Oh yeah, the um, especially in five, the difficulty names are awesome. Like um, there's Human, Devil Hunter, Son of Sparta. Um, I think one of them was. I don't know one of them was um, a game mode. I was taking Legendary Dark Knight. I was in five special edition. But um, yeah, then there was a uh, Son of Sparta. Then it was. I think it was Dante Must Die, Heaven or Hell, and then Hell or Hell? Yes! You got, uh, let me look them up. I think I looked them up and told you about it before. It's, uh, let me just go through them again. For the viewers at home. For the viewers at home! And for me watching back the board when I can... Oh. I defeated her just as I died. That is oh. very sad. <laughs> And yeah, for me, when I watch it like, back... Yeah, it uh, oh. Sorry? It's one of those games, I think it's one of those games where death overall success as well. Hmm. Where, like, um, some games, if you beat the boss as you die, then it would trigger a cutscene or something. 
then it would go to the cutscene instead, whereas in that one it would trigger the death. Oh, that's nice. I wish it did that for me. Uh, sorry, yeah, I wish uh, this game did that. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, here we go, I got it right. It was um, six difficulty types. Human, Devil Hunter, Summer Spider, Dancing Must Die, Heaven and Heaven or Hell, Hell or Hell. Yeah. Because Heaven and Hell is like everyone dies in a hit, and Hell and Hell is you die in a hit. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that is like Dark Souls on steroids. I wonder what the 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 speedrunning scene for that is. I don't know really. I don't really watch too many speedruns. I think it's pretty big though. Sorry, I, I've just the... been getting really into summoning salt. Yeah. Because I just remembered, I watched this um, speedrun of this really obscure PS2 game. That I used to play, like, um, out of everyone I've met, me and Daisy are the only people who have played it. Hmm. It was a roller coaster world. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, it doesn't sound familiar. Uh, basically, there's, um, it's kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but there's also challenge mode where you can, um, make certain types of roller coasters with certain specifications. And the strategy to beat every single one is do about five big loops right out the gate. And then bring it back to the start. Oh my god, it's like, the fucking books! You can clip through it all you want, so you just do five loops all at the same time, crossing over each other, and then loop it right back around to the start. And that always wins, it always gets you the gold. Okay, that's... Okay, so it's just like, poorly balanced. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a nostalgic game, it's not a very good one. <laughs> like it's Crash of the fun. Titans! I playing it with Daisy like, ages ago. Where we started our own theme park in like the management mode, and I, I just just for shits and giggles, I called it Sex Boob Sixty Nine. Well, yeah. Speaking of Daisy, yeah, she uh she read the the Discord status I had on. Oh yeah, and... yeah no, that's the picture of that. Oh, I mean. You can't disprove me, because no one in the Pokemon universe even acknowledges how babies are made. Yeah, exactly. The, the daycare man just says, Oh, well, I, I don't know how this egg got here. I mean, it's a game for, like, seven-year-olds. You can't really acknowledge intercourse in a game for seven-year-olds. Yeah. I was, actually, I was talking to my mate, uh, Sparrow. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, no, hold on. You know Sparrow. Sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. mixing up... I'm crossing the streams. I, I'm mixing up friend groups. Yeah. Uh, 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 Sparrow read it, and he was like, No! They're, they're canonically like gifts from Arceus. And... And like... I, I couldn't figure that out quite, but like... If that's if that's true, you know oh, what it Arceus means. Sorry. Oh, Arceus is a stork. Yeah, but more importantly, it means God is homophobic canonically. He oh, only yeah. <laughs> he only delivers babies to the straight couples. Ooh. This is... We've gotten to my run killer. Patchouli. Uh, I've been doing some art. Yeah, as I was uh, saying, yeah, I've been practicing as well. Like, yeah. I left my uh, computer because I have no space for it at either of my parents' houses. So I've been just doing it, sketching stuff on paper. Mm. I drew a bastard the other day, it was fun. You drew what? I drew a bastard the other day. A bastard... I've been. I drew uh, like a thumbnail for uh, for like uh, when I upload the vods on YouTube because I had like yeah. a, a sort of I don't know what uh, to call it. I drew like a very rough one, uh, but now I have like a really good one. Yeah, uh, and I'm very excited about that. Nice. Don't like uh, to see it. Yee. 
Although I'd need to send them over to someone to uh, resaturize uh, them the the um, images in Photoshop because uh, I still yeah, can't right. fix the 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 like glitch that CSP is doing on my laptop where it like Look. it just it just doesn't acknowledge that you have a color profile on something when you export it so. It just uh, ends up making everything look muted. Yeah. Have you tried using a gradient map? Is that the light port? Maybe. Gradient map. Watch. But it oh. does this, like, um, it kind of takes the, it basically it takes the curve gradient and the strong game, and it, like, if you put it at the max strength, every color on these thing would be that. Um, would be, like, one of that gradient, would be a color in that gradient, but then, like, if you kind of put it at like 20 to the extent of the so. hmm. And it kind of just helps everything, all the colors be a bit more uniform for it to one color scheme. Interesting. I. It's yeah, I don't, I don't think that that's going to help, but that's like. I'll definitely I try it out. Yeah. Okay, this. This attack can go fuck itself. Oh, damn it! Um, I didn't want to yeah. bomb on that. One. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I thought you said damn. I thought you'd like. I said. I said damn. Oh uh, right. I think the beaver's built. I said damn. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Oh fuck! I'm on zero lives. If oh. I get hit. Oh. If I get hit, it's all over. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I might just bomb this one so that I can make sure that uh, that I get through to the next stage. Okay. So I I beat. Okay. So I'm back on the like that. I said I said that I was gonna do poorly this time, and then I beat. The boss that is like my run killer. So that's oh, nice. good. Yeah, so like you're doing better than you thought you would. Yeah. Like but the, I'm yeah. also definitely going to die like five seconds from now, so. Uh, unless that was unless you drink that now you won't die five seconds from now. Maybe if I just keep on saying Okay. But I'm on a pretty good run, so like I think I'm gonna still continue and see if I can beat the final boss on continues. Yeah, anyway, sorry, what were you saying? Um, I can't remember. I think I was talking about that thing I drew recently. You drew a bastard. Yeah, I drew a bastard. I was just talking about the um, things I did with him. It's just imagine this like um, warlock looking guy like uh, Doctor Strange being really long hair. It got got strange, low. Uh, I don't know if you know about you know about the uh, Drakkar and from Warhammer, but you've got like the spiky armor that they have. Hmm. Sounds familiar. I might um, ask Balix about that. He's he's a warm he's a warm hammer guy. He warms hammers. Yeah. Because like um, I was getting it, getting more into it recently just because of the um. Uh, cowboy minis that I got that I like building. Ah. Oh. Like, nowhere sells them, but they're like, I, I want to get into Warhammer, but it's way too fucking expensive. Yeah, so I hear. Because, like, um, I went to a shop that sells, like, mostly Warhammer. They had a single, like, Necron Spider Mini. Which is, like, I think it was about, about the size of three normal minis. It was 20 quid for that one mini. Okay. I'm looking at something like um the uh like for example I saw this like I saw one that was like thirty quid for five minis. I mean it was like six quid a mini. It's like wait, that doesn't sound that expensive. I know like since they only do it as um I mean, it doesn't sound that expensive if you don't have a frame of reference, but then yeah, a lot of the other ones. Yeah, that's true. As well. 
Like, for example, the uh, camper ones I got, you got 10, for, 10 minis for about 15 quid, which is about £1.50 a mini. Oh, that's... Yeah. Is that a normal one? Yeah, I think, like, that's kind of my baseline, because that's the first one I got. Oh, and by the way, we're fighting the, the knife maid. Uh, the um, Little Miss Dio. The Maid of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. The MVP. Some bosses are also the mid-boss of their stage, but yeah. Sakia is not just the mid-boss of her stage, she's the mid-boss of the next stage as well. You fight her three different times. Uh, so she's like a rival character? Ca Maybe? I don't think that's how I would characterize her. I just characterize her as really dedicated to her job. Yeah, fair enough. Because when I think rival character, I think of um, characters that's designed similarly to the main character and fights them multiple times. Yeah, I mean, these like, are both the, like... Three, he's Dante's literal brother, because she has a lot of design traits with him and you fight him three times. Yeah. Isn't it like... Isn't it in one of his story modes, it's not even like his character model, it's just Dante but with a blue coat? Um... Kind of, basically, in Devil May Cry 3, there's a bit where like his hair kind of falls down and he usually keeps it slipped back and he looks identical to Dante. Okay. I mean, they are twin brothers, so it makes sense. Yeah. Identical twins. Right? Wait, hold on. They're not... The... Their profiles are pretty different in DMC5, right? Yeah, because like in that one they actually use people's faces. Like, they use uh, models for it, but then I think they're originally implied to be identical twins. Okay. Virgil even has a line in DMC5 wondering, like, that day if our fates were switched, uh, if our roles were switched, would our fates have been different? Would I have your life and you mine? Ooh, that's a fun question! Fuck. Okay. She activated jazz mode. Sorry? She activated your jazz mode. It's very easy to activate my jazz mode. I'm a jazzy guy. Think, you watch uh, Amazing World of Gumball? Uh, I did like five years ago. I'm sorry. As I say, it's one of my uh, favorite cartoons. I watch it a bit more often than most people. Is it still but running? Then, uh, uh, no, it finished uh, last year, I think. Oh, that's actually pretty recent. Let me look. It's either this year. It was either last year or 2020. We were supposed to get a film, but I don't know, I don't know anything about it. Why does it say The Gumball Chronicles? What the fuck? Oh no, it ended 2019. Yeah, they had this um, one episode based on the board game that um, Gumball and Darwin made. Dodge or Dare! Yeah, and then... Um, uh, it was basically a Jumanji. Yeah, I, rem I, I, I remember that one pretty well. Yeah, because... Um, as I say, it appears in two episodes. It appears in the one where... Um, they try and help Mr. Robinson with all of his chores after they... Um, smack his white wig off, their he off of their head. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so they try to help him with all of his um, household stuff to pay him back, and they end up freaking him the fuck out. Wait, is that? Oh, is that the one <laughs> where they like paint the fence in like yeah, an they, instant? They yeah, it's like um, paint the fence blue. Okay, like I think they're missing the point. Turn it around. Done. What? The... Okay, now make it green. Done. Yellow with black dots. Done. Green with purple stripes. Done. And then, oh yeah, then the next scene it was like, um, he says, okay, now there's a stain on this rug, I want you to clean it. Oh, where is it? There. Throws orange juice on the carpet. But it never lands. Because, uh, I mean, there. It's gone. Like, and he gets like, um, and then it gets like a refill of him, like, with oh, uh, a jug of ice, uh, a jug of orange juice with a whole cup, and he just goes like, um, they ask, him if he, yeah, they ask him if he wants more ice in his drink, he just goes, ah, give me that! Just chucks the entire thing on the floor. So, so Gumball was catching it in his mouth. 
Yes! Like, that was so fun! The, the human I can track and... Like, he has the full cup game, he just goes, Okay, you're scaring me. That, is, that, is, that was actually a really memorable episode. A lot of that yeah. show was really good. Yeah, it's, it's um, probably my favourite Western cartoon, outside of Airbender. Hmm. Like, um... Yeah, you just get... Yeah, because just after that, he just he throws him out and he's just like, um... I don't know, I think he still needs our help. It's like, go away! Go, go away! Leave me alone! Go away! Yeah, that's a cry for help. Get the fuck out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! Yeah, like, in the uh, Jumanji episode, when I said about uh, Saku, you're activating your jazz mode, I just thought of the um, bit where Gumball gets compulsive singing disorder from the game. I don't... I... I haven't heard of that. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, basically, um, they, start, they start playing the uh, Don't Tell Dare as a family, but then the longer it goes on, the more they're affected by oh! things they get. Yeah, I don't remember that specifically, but... I... Okay, that's the one where Nicole gets, like... A head on her head. Yeah, it's like, um, you will now doubt your every thought. A board game can't make me do that. Or can it? That's so that fun. Is real. I don't really believe it is until the game ends. Yeah, like, okay, this the... is... This is the final boss dialogue. I want you to pay attention, for one thing, uh, to the line that she's about to say, which is a just a JoJo reference. Uh, and... Also, there's some weird translation stuff. Okay. Um, I'm just a, I think I'm a bit behind. It says, can't stand sunlight or smelly vegetables or that one silver thing. Okay. She's about to say a JoJo reference. Yeah. You know, the Masters of the Night was tons of weaknesses for some reason. <laughs> yes, I'm a sickly girl. Interesting. So you really drink it? You know, that... Of course, but I'm a light eater and I always leave some on the plate. How many people's blood have you sucked up until now? Ah, oh, I see where this is going. How many birds have you eaten in your life? There's a point of dialogue that's gonna be, like, read. That's like... Uh, like... What is it, like... Oh, uh, maybe you're not human. And then Marissa says, I'm a fun human. And then Romelia says, Oh, I see, because the moon is red. And it's just like, what? what? And then uh, I made a joke the first time that I was streaming. Uh, and I said, uh, every time there's a lunar eclipse, Rowan Atkinson becomes funny again. Um, he's in a thing recently. Have you seen uh, Man vs. B? Yeah, Man vs. B, the 10 episode yeah. series. It's not a movie. It's not It's not a movie. It's 10 episodes. Yeah, because they're about like uh, 10 minutes long each, so if you match them all together, it could be a film. It's still a really long film. I mean,. Um, 10 episodes each, that's about 100 minutes, that's about an hour and 40 minutes. Ooh. It's not overly long. Like, I, I cast like an overly long, I think I cast like a really long film as like 3 hours plus. Mm. And like Lord of the Rings or Endgame. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Doing I, a Virgil. I. I, I am a fool. I I, I. I went up to, to grab some points, and she entered her very famous for killing people who try to do that non-spell, which is yeah. just like, it's just knives. I was thing she was just doing then with the uh, blue slashes. That's just a judgment cut from Devil May Cry. Hell yeah. Although this... 
This game is coming up on uh, like in a in a couple days. It'll be it'll be twenty years old. Okay. Is that like? Yeah, this game specifically, not like when the 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 series started. Yeah. When was, when was the first Toa game? I don't know. I think it was like nineteen ninety three or something. Oh yeah, that was like almost 10 really years old. really old, and it's still going. I think. I think like, that like the uh, most recent what? game was 2019 or maybe even 2020. Yeah, I'll have a look actually. I'll see what this one was. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Dodge. I do not know how to dodge that attack. I gotta. I said that between streams I would look up the tutorial video that I was using, and mm. I didn't. Oh fuck! I don't think, I don't think I'm beating Romelia on this run. Oh no! I really, this is, oh this is terrible. Look at that it's freaking bats! I love Halloween. Hey, um, I recently read the like Tumblr text post that was like, instead of having. Your vampires like scoff at at uh, like tropes of vampires, yeah. Or even like just having the the like weird abilities that vampires sometimes have. Have them like ha have someone be like so so like can you turn into a bat? And then they say no. I wish I could. Okay. I feel like I think uh, Hotel Transylvania kind of did that, where like um, it played it into the um, stereotypes of like their weaknesses and what they can do, but like they kind of poked fun at it as well. So he's asking like, "Wait, so um, I wouldn't stick through the heart? That would kill you, right? Yeah, who wouldn't that kill?" <laughs> oh god, that also reminds no, me of uh... the logic. Yeah. Uh, I that reminds me of another thing. Oh, hey, I beat her. Uh, that oh. reminds me of another thing that was like um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There was like this supernatural creature that was like, ah, no, no forged weapon can kill me. Uh, and they're like, are you sure? It's been a while. Are you sure there's no weapons that can kill you? And then they kill them with a rocket launcher. It's like, um... Oh, look, that reminds me of this weird, really weird, um... Weird, uh, I used to be, like, when I was 12, I used to play Call of Duty, and they always have, like, um, quotes from military generals, like, whenever you die. I used to do the Modern Warfare games, I don't know about all of them. Like, um, and there was this one that says, um... Whoever said the pen is mighty sword never encountered automatic rifles. <laughs> and like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? They're clearly two different weapons. Hold on a second. How did they make that automatic rifle? Yeah. Do they just do it with no blueprints? I think not. Yeah. Anyway, Wait, so... What the um, most recent uh, Toho game was. So, we got uh, Toho Project. First release, high re highly responsive to prayers, August 15th, 1997. Latest release, uh, Toho Go, uh, Goyoku Ibun. My birthday last year. Oh! Yeah, it came out so 2021? Yeah, October, 20, uh, October 24th last year. That's super recent. Yeah, so it's not even been a year yet. Wow. Huh. That's actually very fun. There was, um. It was talking about the, um, like, weird correlation between, like, my birthday and my family members' birthdays. Hold on a second. Got a There's ping. a bunch of big coral involving my birthday. I got a ping from the uh, uni discord. <laughs> I don't know, because well. Re enrollment is live! Ooh, that's nice. Oh, nice. Okay. 
So... So I just beat the game using continues, which made me get the bad ending. And that's what I'm trying right. to not do. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I feel like we've gotten onto a number of topics. What do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about the re-enrollments? Or... Um... Well, I have come up with um, some ideas for the, uh, like, six ideas pitch thing that we're supposed to do in, uh, I think it's near the end of September. Oh, yeah! I still haven't done anything with that. Yeah, I've got three ideas so far. What were the, um, what were the, uh, like, prompts? I can only remember three of them. There, there was, was um, like, one was, that... a historical retelling of a classic story and different age demographic. Okay. I remember, I think that there was, like, a historical piece, and then yeah, one. also one that had no dialogue. Um, oh yeah, that was it. It was, um, I don't know if it had to have no dialogue, I think that was the example that they used. It was, um, I think you have to tell us a uh, comic in an um, innovative way, which is what I would have done for that one. Hmm. I've got four ideas for that one, yes, for that one I've got the, um, wordless comic. Uh, for the historical one, I've got like a monster set in the Wild West. <laughs> and then, for the classic one, I've got like a Frankenstein story, but he builds a robot instead of a guy. And he builds artificial intelligence instead of resurrecting a corpse. Interesting. And then, for the different age demographic one, I did like a kid's comic called Space Baby. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I think that one is like it's difficult to write stories for like older folks, but like there's a lot of research that you can do into um, kids books. Into kids books. Yeah, because I've got two really young uh, cousins as well. One of them's six. One of them's one of them's like just turned six. One of them's turning four this year. So I can look at the kind of stuff that they were read. Babes. I I remember there was this one children's book that I always used to read when I was at the dentist's yeah. called like I think Tiny Tiger something I think that's a Crush Bandicoot boss oh yeah, like, I, know, I know what you're thinking of though, like, Li Little Tiger uh, Little Tiger something Li Blind Tiger No, it was like, there was something, the plot of it was like, he was getting a sister, and he had to like, learn how to be a good big brother. Uh -oh. And he would hang out with his friends, like, Mr. Bear. Yeah, because um, I remember there was this, uh, kid, like, young kids show I used to watch called uh, Humph. It was about, like, it was about monsters, but it was like monsters ain't star monsters. Yeah. And, um, I remember the main, um, uh, the main character, Humph, his friend, I can't remember the friend's name. I just remember that he kind of had a rat face and was, was a little bastard. <laughs> He's really fucking selfish. You know, it, it, it's but, just so a little see him guy. Playing with, like, um, it, Say, like every episode you'd see him playing with like um, his super but like he'd always like exclude Humph and give him like he'd always make him play as like the um, pants shitting psychic or the villain or something when he wanted to be a good guy Oh, that's not and, very um, cool and then one episode he like outright steals from him Ugh. like yeah like he gets a new toy he's showing his because that's what you do when you get a new friend. When you get a new toy, you're really excited for it. You want to show all your friends. Mm -hmm. and like, um, I think Hunt's flute leaves the room to go to the toilet or get a drink or something. Then he comes out, sees his dad, hanging out with his friend's dad. And then... Um, Snot Child. I'll just call him Snot Child. 
he like runs into the room, just pulls his dad off the couch by the end. He's like, Dad, Dad, we need to go, we need to go now, we need to go. And like, walks out backwards holding his arm behind his back and even as like a two-year-old, I just remember that scene. That, I just remember seeing that and thinking. Oh, oh that. That jackass. Yeah, I never liked that character and he was in like every episode. Uh, I'll look it up actually, I'll see how old that show is. Because it might be... It might not be as old as I remember. Humph, that was it. Not Humph, Humph. Wait, what? Uh, hang on. Uh, what year was it? Oh, 2009, so yeah, I was like, uh, I was like seven when that came out. Hmm. That's not that old, is it? Yeah. That's like, um... Uh... About... Oh, it was 10 years ago, like 3, I guess. It was 13 years old this year. Oh yeah, here we go, because I found this, I found the uh, cover of like a DVD, just looking through the, um... pictures of it. It's, it just says, Humph and the Fluffy Thing. But you look I'm at the, the entire cast of yeah, you look at the entire cast, it's like, you're all fluffy things. Like, it's all so fluffy. Yeah. What's the quote? They're so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Yeah. That's, uh, that's despicable me, I think. Yeah. They're, they're making in another one. Oh yeah, I'm right, I need to throw some there's, there's, there's another one that they're doing. I can't, like, oh, okay. ha how have they not exhausted that? It was a pretty good, like, it was pretty good. The movie. Yeah. Like, the, it's just despicable, like, the actual Despicable Me films are good. It's just that the yeah. minions are really overused. Yeah, it's just the minions are the worst part of it. Oh, please. I just died. It's like um, in the original Thundercats cartoon, how it was a really good cartoon, but then it also has Snarf. Snarf? Yeah. So remember, he, like, he has this really annoying voice, like, Oh man, uh, I was gonna get you guys, Snarf, Snarf, Snarf. Oh. Yeah. So I remember um, Thundercats got a reboot in like 2011 in like, this really cool anime style, and it got canned after like five episodes because nobody watched it. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that's because. It was because it didn't sell enough toys. Yeah. There's like... Cartoon Network's done that a lot. They cancelled um, Teen Titans because it didn't sell enough toys. They cancelled... Um... There was like... Yeah, young... There cancelled. was the Young Justice one that was... Yeah, that didn't sell enough toys. Like it... But the, the thing is, right, it did sell a lot of toys. It just didn't sell in regards to like the viewership. Because it was yeah. half girls, and they hadn't released any toys of the girl superheroes. Just release toys of the girl superheroes yeah, instead of- Yeah, they cancelled- No, they cancelled it like, the thing that really got me was that they cancelled it just before they were planning on releasing, uh, like, planning on releasing a box set with, like, several of the female heroes. A like box set of toys. Yeah. Oh right. That's the thing. Cause that's like what happened. What's happened with the Batgirl recently, where the film was finished, like it was, it was ready to be shipped, but they just cancelled it at the last minute, and said that no one's going to see it. Yeah. Which is BS. Yeah, because like, what annoys me even more is that they haven't cancelled the Flash film. Even though Ezra Miller is a fucking creep. Yeah. Like, they cancelled Batgirl. Just, just because. They were worried he was bad, but they haven't cancelled The Flash, even though the main character is a criminal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I've got to say something about the uh, bastard I designed. Oh? That hasn't been in like five years, so I don't think it's redone him. But like, um, 
for some reason I was possessed to give him like kind of blade, kind of like axe blade things on his on like the hip section of his armor, so that he can murder people by Shakira dancing. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I need to uh, think about. It. Let me just open my phone. Because I've got, um, so far I've drawn that one. I've drawn a cowboy and a spider and I've drawn space baby. Oh wait, I can't, I can't see. Are you screen sharing? Uh, no, I'm just uh, sending you a photo on. Uh, it's a child in a dinosaur chair. Uh, space baby. It's a uh, spider cowboy. There we go. Space bastard. Give me a space baby. I'll, I'll I'll take a look at it when the uh, when the boss fight starts. Yeah. You just look at you just look at like on stream. You can see, you can see when everyone else just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. At your leisure. At my leisure. Oh, this really isn't the run. Yeah. Like, um, it takes an average about, like, half an hour to complete a run, doesn't it? Yeah. I added up the collective, like, how many times I did it, and I've probably spent over 48 hours on this one. Alright. And that's just the, like, full run attempt. Not counting, like, all of the practice mode runs. Hmm. I should have a look at. Um, I should see how much playtime I've got on Red Dead 2 and see how much of that is, is dedicated to petting dogs. Oh no. Is there. Have you played it? Nah. You can pet the dogs. It's on the list somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's. It's one of my favorite games. Like. Sonic Adventure 2 is always going to be my favorite game. Like, that's never going to be beaten. Oh, yeah. But then below it, it's tied with Devil May Cry 5 for number 2. Oh yeah, that reminds me, uh... What's it? There was the... There was a speedrunning video I saw from a while back that was uh, talking about, like, the 120 emblems percent. Oh, yeah. It's, like, incredible. What's the uh, fastest time for that one? I can't remember, but it's like, it's like more than an hour. I know that much, because it's like such a big deal. It's not like, it's not like a uh, true 100% Undertale percent levels, yeah. where like, there's a, there's a, there's a break in fuck, uh, where there's a break in the, um, Uh, where there's a break in, in like, in the rules where like, you're obligated to use eight hours to rest, but it's, oh, it's like long. really, it's really long. Yeah. I just died, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to stretch, uh, and, uh, check out your bastard. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, I won't be able to hear you for a while because I'll be away from the computer. That's fine. What? Everyone watching, all, all one people watching the stream and, uh, uh and everyone yeah, the watching the VOD when that eventually comes out. Go, 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 yep. go take a break, go stretch. Ugh. I went for a run, I think, this time last week. And if I've got to stretch before and after, my legs are killing me for like three days afterwards. Drink some water. Yeah. Well, it wasn't because I drank water, it was because I didn't stretch and my legs were more... There was more lactic acid in my legs than anything else. I'm gonna do that though.
<laughs> Sorry, let's get a drink. Hello, hello. Ooh. I'll just wait for him to get back. Could do the extra start. Okay, there we go. Bye. Hello. That's like 20 seconds after I came back, so we're, ah. we're in sync. I just flopped this, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm playing the extra stage. Nice. Do you know the song UNON was her? Question mark. Sorry? Do you know the song UNON was her? Question mark. No. Oh. It was a, like, uh, pretty. Oh! It was like the breakout track of this game specifically. Like, I know that Night of Nights is a lot more popular, but... Yeah. Uh... So, like, that one kind of kickstarted the popularity of the soundtrack, and then Night of Nights, like, solidified it. Yeah. And then... Oh, no. Uh... But, uh, that's the one that this... that's, uh, in this stage, if I can get to the boss. Because if you, if you get the good ending, like I, I got the, the good ending on uh, normal mode, then you'll unlock the extra stage, which is very difficult, and you can't do things like, uh, you, you only get like a small amount of lives to finish it. Like, you can't even get lives from, like, points, which you can uh, in all of the other modes. Ah, piss. Uh, 
I am not doing as well as I was last time. Oh, Pit. Oh. I, I dodged all of that fairy's attacks and then I got, like, I got caught because I was trying to be fancy. Hubris, the fate of four of so many heroes. Yeah. Don't get, don't get, don't get flappy wappy. Jazz mode enabled. Yes. Oh, by the way, I, uh, oh, I just died. Uh, by the way. By the way, I just died. Uh, by the way, I got a new phone recently. Oh, nice. I've had the, uh, iPhone that I've had for, like, five years at least. Uh, I finally switched over to one of the more recent Galaxy phones. It was pretty good. Wait. Ah. Although I will make one criticism of Galaxy phones. I am very upset that galaxies do not contain a galaxy. Yeah, it's false advertising. You should sue them over it. Yeah. In fact, I I am suing them over it. I'm like, like, like is gonna in the, in the same vein as blow your mind. Red Bull doesn't actually give you wings. What? Yeah, Red Bull doesn't actually give you wings. Doesn't cause any mutations whatsoever. It's just a drink. What? No, no, no. it says it gives you wings. Mm. And that's why I wasn't drinking it. I didn't want to like have to deal with. You're saying I could have drunk it this entire time? No, it doesn't. Did you say? Did you, hear, did, you hear, did you hear me right? Did you think I say it does give you wings, or it doesn't give you wings? I thought it. I thought it. You said it doesn't give you wings. Yeah, it doesn't give you wings. It says it does, but it doesn't. Capitalists lie all the time. What the hell? Like I was so afraid that someone was gonna give me like ripple, and then I'd have to deal with having like an entirely new organ. But like, you're saying that's that's a load of baloney? Yeah. What the hell? Do, pe Do people drink it thinking that it will, and then they just like? Uh, oh my god! Not I had no that. idea. That's that's I I I'm speechless. It's like, I'm, that, <laughs> it's like I'm, I've been going on London every now and then, but again, I can't like say my head when I need to. Sorry? And um, so I've been uh, going on runs with my dad every now and then to um, play with my head whenever I need to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, like, Piss. it's exhausting and I'm not very good at it, but like, it does get the endorphins going for about a couple of days afterwards. You gotta release the dolphins. Yep. Yeah, like, um, we were having a conversation about something and he brought up this um, song that some artist made for a while ago about the Ugly Duckling. And, like, I'd never heard that song. And I said I'd never heard of it. He thought I'd never heard of the original story. Wait, what? And he thought, like, well, he's probably guessing. What is this? He thought I'd never heard of like the Ugly Duckling story, but I'd never heard the song that had been written that he was telling me about. I've so never heard of that. So he explains the story, and I make a joke about saying like, um, "Oh, is this like some avant-garde novel from the fifties that like not many people know about?" And he, he thought I was serious. What was what? What is this? Uh, the Ugly Duckling. What? Oh, sometimes the controls fail on me. I'm not sure I can I can hear you very well. Oh, can you not? Oh, uh, let me, let me put my headphones on. You'll probably be able to hear better. 
So it's it's op it's open open the something. Ugly duckling. Ugly duckling. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I didn't yeah, know that was a song. Yeah, me neither. That's like that's what I was trying to tell my dad, but he thought um I never heard the original story. So when I made a joke about like thinking it was an avant-garde novel from the fifties, he thought I was being serious. <laughs> You kind of had a similar reaction to me when I thought you had, thought you'd never seen Rango. Well, I, I, I haven't seen Rango. Yeah, yeah, but you know what it is. I, I yeah, I know. You've heard Snake of Rango? Boy. You just haven't seen it. Yeah, I know. It's not on DVD, actually. Like, I'll lend it to you if you want. Hmm. Because it is a really good film. Because um, there's a joke in it where um, they're going after a bunch of uh, guys that they think have stolen from them. And they get the drop on them by pretending to be actors. And one of them's blind, so he says, like, Well, I think they're thespians, huh? Thespians? That's illegal in seven states! Oh! I mean, um... Honestly, the way it's going right now, that might become the case again. Yeah. Which is very it. depressing to think about. Yeah, like, um... Yeah, people think, um... Like, people think of, um... America as, like... like a lot of people like think of America as, like, a model train set continuously going forward. It's not. It's a pendulum. Yeah, I mean... That's. I think that's kind of the case for us as well. Our culture yeah, has I, I, changed in like a yeah. lot of the same ways. Yeah. Like, <sighs> yeah, that's, that's the thing with me. Is like I try and keep up with politics where it's like important, but I try not to get yeah. too involved. Cause, because it's just depressing. Yeah, you can't get... You have to do what you can and recognize your limits, which is way yeah. harder to do in the age of, like, information overload. Yeah, exactly. And especially with, like, Twitter catering to people's, like, worst emotions. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, like the outrage culture. Yeah. Like, it's... Like, you need to be angry at a lot of things... But then also, yeah. Twitter is like... Or, or you're a bigot. But but Twitter is like, no, you need to be angry at literally everything. And it's like, yeah. no, no, we we can actually do stuff. We can yeah, actually... Be angry. It's like, it's being all like, oh, you have to be angry at everything. You have to be passionately angry about the thing that we're angry about. I'm like, I don't want to be angry about anything. I'm, being angry is not nice. Hmm. I mean, hatred can like, be the... a very powerful emotion, but like... You've got to yeah. actually use it properly. Yeah. Like you can't just. It's like how um, cars are very useful for getting long distances fast, but you need to have a hand on the steering wheel, otherwise you're going to blow up and die. Yes. That's a wonderful metaphor. Yeah. My brain doesn't work half the time, but when it does, it works wonders. I have road yeah, like, rage, um... and I know how to use it. Yeah, because um, you know what? Uh, like Jackson Pico was doing. Uh, this was years ago. He was doing a "Would you rather?" And um, the question was, "Would you rather be unable to feel anger or unable to feel sadness?" And his um, logic was, he'd go unable to feel anger because, like, sure, sadness sucks, but like, you can't really appreciate the happy moments unless you're sad. Mm. But then, like, anger doesn't do that for you. Like, what does anger do for you? That's it makes you good in fight. Because, like, it's like, it makes you good in fight, but that's it. Yeah. That's very interesting with, like, the way that that works, because a lot of our emotions are so intertwined. I wonder yeah. how that would actually work. Because I mean, he kind of thought about that as well. Like, he said, he came with a scenario of, like, um, 
I guess I was never able to feel sad. That would be inappropriate sometimes. Like, I'm like I'm at someone's funeral and I'm just there. Like, <laughs> why is everyone so glum? Who died, huh? <laughs> that's that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Who died? My grandma! I'm doing pretty well on lives. I only died like once so far. There you go. Um, I think it says you have five left. Yeah. I still have a bomb in case I really need it. I've got yeah. max power so I can get all of the points that I want. Big numbers make brain go happy. Well, that and also... Oh, fuck. Uh, I just died. Uh, yeah. And also, if you get up to... I just died again. Okay, yeah. so I guess that's what we're Show doing video. today. I guess that's yeah. what we're doing uh, on this wonderful Twitch.tv stream. We're just, we're, just, we're just fucking up a lot. This isn't the run. Actually, no, this yeah. is the run. I'm going to never die again. I'm going to live forever. I think Queen did as well and Coulter wants to live forever. Yeah, it was in Highlander. I just Highlander? died. Yeah. I am so sorry for the one person who just entered. I am... Uh, who, who just entered the stream. I am... I promise I'm better than this. Yeah, he is. I've seen him. I, I... This is just a bad day. They left. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's just, this, it's just this two for me. Yeah, one of them's me on another computer. Oh, right. And I can't sign in on the computer because it's really old. Yeah, fair enough. I bet that that computer could run the PC-98 games. Yeah. Can it run Doom? AO3 can run Doom now. That's, like, incredible to me. A AO3, the fanfiction website? Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fanfic out there called Can It Run Doom? And yeah. it is a fanfic that is... Just Doom. A fully functional Doom port. Yeah. To be clear, it 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 doesn't like every single person viewing the page controls the game. Oh uh, right. But it can run Doom. Yeah, so it's, it's like one of those um dreams of like chat control get, or like can chat get to the end of World One in Mario. Twitch play, plays Pokemon. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I had such a promising start as well. well I love this, um, uh, the redhead character's epithet. I like, because all the other ones are like, um, yes. immortal vampire maid, western, ma like, western, ma uh, western magic Shaolin, and then it's just Chinese girl. Yes, that is like, okay, it's a really big, like, meme in the English speaking fandom specifically because the the Japanese name for her uses like special characters to make a pun out of her name but that right, right. can't translate into English so it's just Chinese girl that's her job her job is just be Chinese professional Chinese person Professional Asian. Yeah, you've got her that's professional Asian, and then there's me that's professional failure. Aww, oh, you're not a failure. I was looking at your your bastard. You've done like. Have you been practicing? Have you been practicing figure drawing? Uh, that's essentially what I'm doing. Yeah, I've got like uh, references and um, images of like studio poses. That's like yeah, because like. I'll say this, like, you have always had, in my opinion, the strongest sense of character design 
in the class, but really? like the way you draw things, I think that you like have tended to rely a lot on a very like anime style instead of like developing realistic. your own. Not realistic yeah. per se, but like right. I think if you want to draw in an anime style, you need to do yeah. some realism to understand where like someone is coming from in the anime hmm. style. Yeah, so like um as I say, but the style does need still does still need a bit of work, but like you should be seeing my stuff I was drawing like when I was like fourteen. <laughs> before I knew before I knew proportions. Like I was drawing like facial profiles of people, but the head was like three times longer than it should be and the neck was just two lines. Oh. Like it had no detail on the neck whatsoever. Oh that's Oh yeah, and the eyes were square as well. That reminds me a lot of like a lot of my trappings. I tend to like make the head too big so that I can like fit all of the details in. Especially if I'm doing no like um no guidelines. Yeah. To be fair, like if it's on Clip Studio, you can just resize it. Oh, hang on. That's that's true enough. But yeah, on the 11th this month, this game has its 20th anniversary, and I'm hoping that oh, I'll nice. be able to stream on that day. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so that's in uh, three days. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, I was hoping to have, like, have the winning run by now, but alas. Yeah. It's gonna take a lot more attempts. But hey. Because, um, as if it was on Thursday, I'm, I think I'm going to be going to uh, Duckwood with my granddad to uh, oh. see a bunch of planes. Oh, sounds... It's either going to be, yeah, it's going to, it's going to be Wednesday or Thursday, but I think it's going to be Thursday because he does his shopping on Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, yeah so like, um, if I'm, if I'm at Duckwood, uh, if I'm at Duckwood watching, um, when you playing go nyom, then I don't know if I'll be able to make it that day. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure I'll, like, if you're not available... Yeah. There are a lot of folks. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it afterwards. Yeah. No, no like, pressure. There's, yeah. like... Last time, uh, I asked my uh, mate Balix if he could... Uh, if he could co on. This time I asked uh, Reyna, who's actually the person who got me into the series, uh, yeah, if yeah. she could co-com, uh, but uh, she's actually busy at the moment. Ah, that's fair. Which is, you know, you're, you're just like, you're, you're, the, you're the backup, Dante. Yeah, yeah. You don't that's mean fine. nothing to me. <laughs> I'm um, just glad to be considered. Oh yeah, hold on. It's like, someone knows I exist, I'm flattered. Wait. Hold on. I think I'm slightly behind. Is, uh... Oh fuck, I just died for the first time in this run. Uh... Ah. Is, uh... I think Kieran's doing, like, a new campaign. Or, like, trying to set up a new campaign. Are you aware of that? I don't know, is it the um, one that uh, Daisy and Kai are doing where Kai is playing Roselle and Daisy playing Sage? Maybe? It's like... Because I think that was just a one-off that he was doing over summer. Okay. Because he was uh, messaging me that he had like an empty space uh, in a campaign this morning. And All right. he was saying, Kaya, Daisy and Dan. I'm um, thinking, oh wait, was it Dan as in oh. you? I don't know, because I haven't heard about that one. Huh. Maybe, or maybe he, um... I don't know, I'll ask him about it. I mean, well, hmm. I'm sure he'll, like, mention it when he... Uh... When the time's right. Yeah. I mean, like... Because the thing is, like, I'm, I'm with... Because I'm in his uh, main campaign. Yeah. Cowgirl. 
And then I'm, like, I'm also trying to get my own campaign like with the Wild West, I'm trying to get that back up and running. And then Will's also trying to start one with uh, based on Smash, where I'm playing as Cloud. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I haven't. That one hasn't started yet. I think it's going to start around Septemberish, depending on when I get back to uni. Hmm. Yeah. So like, um, that'll be three campaigns. Yeah. Like it'll be understandable if like um, he thinks, oh yeah, Dan's got a lot on his place at the moment. I'll just um, I'll give him a break from it. Yeah. I mean, I can barely like, handle. Well, I can handle one. I just like because I've been bringing. I was meaning to bring a Hayden back into uh, uh, the current story. Oh yeah. Because you had already gotten like uh, what's his face Torrent in there. Yeah, yeah. Because um, as I say, Torrent came back with metal legs. Mm. Also. If I'm going to be doing, like, more uh, RP in campaigns, there was yeah. uh, something that I wanted to ask you, and that's, like, do you think that yeah. there's anything in particular I can work on in regards to my role-playing? Oh, this. I mean, to be fair, like, um, role-play is just, like, get into character and then improv that character. So, like, um, as long as you're having fun and you're not making people uncomfortable, then that's really all I can say. Yeah, I guess so. But, and you're not screwing up for other people as well, like, um... Not like that guy. Like, yeah, like, um, there are those guys that say, like, oh, it's just what my character would do right after they've murdered the only quest giver that could start the entire story and do the entire world to a fiery inferno death. Oh, God. Sometimes it is nice to give players choice, but sometimes it's like, come on, dude. Sometimes railroading is a bit necessary. Yeah. I mean, I... I don't even know if, like, railroading. I just think that it's, like, yeah. you have to be willing to engage with the text. Yeah. Because, like, um, actually, cause, uh, speaking of uh, roleplay, I had this funny moment with, um, uh, Shirley. Because, like, cause, like, she just got her body transformed from a tiny gremlin to a six foot four beer bulk. Yeah. <laughs> so, um,. She, like, she was um, trying to, like, one of both of them was trying to gather, she was trying to gather supplies, because she was in charge of arming all the crew. That's pretty funny. And she was like, talking, as a little she was chat, talking, like, little, little chow. Hmm. Uh, when she was still wet, she was incredibly angry at, every, at everything. Oh. And now she's Surely, her main anger, her main driving emotion has gone from anger to confusion. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing that there's like a lot of interesting confusion to be worked out in like, oh, piss, uh, in, in kind of like just having your entire being changed. It's mainly just me not knowing how my body parts work. <laughs> like, um, I mainly just go to a daisy character for that one. Like, um, it's. The only clothes that Wek had were like a cowboy hat and a tiny coat. Like, they transformed, but Shirley was wearing nothing else. Oh. And she didn't know how to dress herself, so Zot had to dress this six foot tall, beefy cowgirl like a toddler. <laughs> and then, it's like. like oh, what is it? Like, that was the, uh, maybe, that was maybe. the thing I said, like. Um, hmm? I was gonna say, because, like, um, that was the uh, comedy bit, because, like, um. She doesn't, still doesn't know how certain body parts work. Like, she doesn't know what they're for. Maybe have it like, be like the, them. um, the, uh, that one skit, uh, where the guy has, like, clones, and then, mm. uh, he's like, oh, this is the clone that doesn't understand human anatomy. And he's like, hey, say that to my face! Points to elbow. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, um, but it's like, she understands which parts are which, it's just the things they were completely different when she was a child, she just doesn't understand how they work, and what some of them are for, like, she didn't have a nose before, she's like, there's something sticking out of my face now, what do I do with it? Could she not smell before? No, she could, but like, she just didn't have a nose, it was like, flat. 
because Chow doesn't have noses. Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. Because like the first um, thing she noticed, like she noticed two things right after she was transformed. One, she was taller than everyone else instead of being a foot tall. And she just kind of laughed and went, ah, who's the short one now, fuckers? <laughs> and then the rest of the party immediately pointed out that I had fingers and I freaked the fuck out of her. That is so fun. Ooh, piss. Piss. That's my, that's my go-to these days. I'm a piss man. Like, uh, you should try, like, you should learn how to do an impression of a sniper from Team Fortress 2 and then say it in his voice. Ah, piss. Ah, piss. So we're trying to learn how to do an um, impression of Murdoch from Gorillas because I've been getting back into them recently. Oh, yeah. Are they they're still... You, uh... They're still going, then? Yeah, they just released a new song called uh, Cracker Island. Cracker Island. Yeah. Are they allowed um, they to say like that? A... <laughs> I know, they mean... Um, yeah, they mean Cracker isn't like a crazy person, like the way uh, Groucho Marx used it. Okay. So, like, um... And the idea behind, like, the most recent story arc, like, each uh, album has a story. Mm. And the story behind this one is that Murdoch started a cult. Yeah, like, um... I've been trying to do an impression of him, but it's, it's murder on your voice. Is he the... I can't remember. Is he the one uh, with... So... No, wait, hold on. He's the green one, right? Uh, yeah, Murdoch's the green bass player. 2D is the singer with the black eyes and the yeah. blue hair. Russell is like the big black guy that does the drums. Hmm. And Noodle is the only one out He's of the, the one from Clint Eastwood. Yeah, the one from Clint Eastwood. Yeah. But he was like so the guy in Clint Eastwood. Kind of. So you mean the one who was doing the rapping? Yeah, well, I, I know of, that so it wasn't was... him, him, but like... Basically, that was um, Del the Funky Homo Sapien, who was like the ghost of his friend that's living in his head. Yeah. Well, he's not anymore. He, got, he gets exercised at the end of part one, or phase one. What is this, the yeah, MCU? So, um, yeah. What is this, JoJo's um, Bizarre Adventure? Oh, um, Gorillaz was doing phases way before the MCU. Oh, I just died. I was gonna say, because, like, 2001, I was thinking about that, because 2001 was a really good year for media. Because you get a bunch of games, you got, like, Devil May Cry, I think Half Life came out in 2001. I came out in 2001, that came out of my mum. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 came out. Ooh, Lord nice. of the Rings, Harry Potter. Sonic Adventure Ooh. 2 and Lord of the Rings were the same year. Yeah, and Harry Potter, 2001. Huh. That's pretty fun. Yeah. But yeah, Robin. Um... Yeah, I think um, Mega Man X6 came out in 2001 as well. Mm -hmm. Was it? I don't know. Because Mega Man X8 was 2005. Okay. Yeah, X5 was the year 2000, and then uh, X6 released like less than six months later, so yeah, it was 2001. I don't think I'm beating this boss. Uh. Yeah, Gorillaz has like a bunch of really funny lore behind it. Like, um, do you know how um, Murdoch actually met 2D? Was it like... I think I remember hearing something about this. It was like... a car crash or something like that. Okay, so basically what happened was, um... Murdoch was planning to steal a bunch of keyboards from an organ shop that 2D was working at by smashing his car through the fuck front of it, grabbing as many as he can and then driving off. But then when he did that, 2D was like working there. He went through the window and his car smacked straight into 2D's head. Yeah, I, re I remembered it had something to do with cars. Yeah, then, um, yeah, so then he, like, they used to say knocked one of his eyes out, but then, like, they changed it so that it's an April fracture, so that he could still see, it's just he has really bad eyesight. Yeah, he has, like, blood in his eyes, and that's why they're black, uh, yeah. black right? Yeah, his eyes are, like, full of blood. That's kind of, like, metal. It's, yeah, it's like, um, yeah, he went completely catatonic from that. And um, Murdoch was sentenced to look after him as community service. So, and 
he didn't. He abused the fuck out of him. Um, he ended up just sticking him in the back seat when he was doing uh, donuts in a Tesco park in a Tesco car park. Um, smashed his car into a post, threw 2D out of the front of the windscreen. Uh, he smacked his head off the ground, broke his other eye. But that's what actually brought him back round. Oh. So it was cars again. Yeah. It was and cars then, too. Yeah. So, Hit and movie. then Russell, you know, like Russell had a bit of a reputation as like a guy who knew everything about hip hop. Like before he met Murdoch, he was working in a record shop. Murdoch goes in asks for a specific one. And then when Russell goes to get it, he like slips a bag and chloroform over his head and kidnaps and takes him back to Tom Studios. Oh no. Yeah, but then Russell just liked the music, so he said, "Yeah, fuck it, I'm staying here." Yes. Then, um, Noodles is actually the funniest one. Because basically, um, they put out an app. Basically, they had, they had a lead guitarist before who was Two T's girlfriend, but then uh, she cheated on him with Murdoch, so she got kicked out. Oh. Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. But like, um, they put an ad in NME for it, and then the next day, like, Noodle just shows up in a FedEx crate. Noodle shows up in a what? A FedEx crate. <laughs> they just open the door and there's a huge box there, and Noodle like kicks her way out and starts shredding on guitar and they just say, Yeah, this tiny ten year old Japanese girl that can't speak any English is a guitarist now. Hell yeah. Uh. I think Noodle actually has like the most interesting story out of all of them. Because like she was um part of a super soldier program in Japan, which got shut down. She was the only survivor. She got shipped off to gorillas, lost all of her memory, got it back when she heard the words ocean bacon. Almost died during one of the music videos. Kind of got separated from them for about five years, I think it was. And then... Like, actually, it's really cool. It's one of the reasons she's my favorite character is because she's such a badass. It's because, um... In the Melancholy Hill music video, she's seen in, like, uh, this cruise ship when this guy runs in to say, like, um, we're being attacked by pirates. I've been sent to get you to the lifeboats. She just like stands up, grabs a suitcase off of like a top shelf, opens it, and there's like an M1921 Thompson in there. Oh no! She just goes like, um, uh, "Madam, what do you?" Oh, um, oh dear! She just like pushes past him with a fucking toy gun in her hands, just storms up to the uh, deck of the ship and starts shooting the planes down. Because like they're attacking them in World War II fighter planes, she's just, like shooting half of them down until the, until the ship gets bombed and she has to she has to run. That's, that's so cool. Yeah, Noodle's metal as fuck. And, um... Let's just spend the rest of the album, like, with Russell, who is a giant, trying to get to Plastic Beach. <laughs> Because she gets replaced by um, a cyborg version of herself that Murdoch makes. Wait, what? Who is essentially the t oh yeah, um, when Murdoch couldn't find her after uh, the music video where she supposedly died, um, he just took some of her DNA that he found and used it to make a cyborg clone. He can do that? Yeah, it's a cartoon, he can do anything. I guess that's how it works. Yeah, because um, he also made her into a Terminator. <laughs> Mm. But she comes back, assumedly. Um, Noodle. Yeah. The real. Yeah, she appears in like, yeah, the uh, like we never got like a full music, an official full music video for it, but we got the storyboards. Piss. And then um, they appear when um, the bad guy of that thing of that phase like attacks the plastic beach island, and Noodle, uh, Cyborg Noodle, kind of goes a bit nuts. She takes a bit of damage. Tries to kill Murdoch. And it will have to put her out of commission. Oh. Although it's kind of contradict, it's kind of contradicted because they go back to Plastic Beach in uh, the last song on Song Machine. That's... And like the and Murdoch's old submarine is there with a perfectly intact cyborg noodle still in it. Oh, okay. So she's not even like... though. Oh, this is a bad. It's kind of weird because um, yeah, it's kind of weird because um. 
Before that, they said that she'd been disassembled and they were using her head as a pot plant. Or a plant pot. But then, it shows that she's still intact, staying in Murdoch's submarine on the plastic beach. That sounds nice. But then... Cause plastic like, beach gets to, yeah, just because she's beach not the, the, the yeah. original noodle doesn't mean she's not worth it. Yeah. Because, like, um... It, it's kind of sad how they treat Sabo noodles, because, um... She only appears, like, twice in that music video. Once where she's kind of, like, just sat not doing anything in the submarine. It's implied that she's dead. And then um, the singer who was, like, collaborating on that track, Lee John, he, like, rises out of the ocean as a Godzilla monster, fires lasers out of his eyes to destroy Plastic Beach. The submarine, like, drops into the ocean and then disappears into the Marianas Trench with Zyborg Noodle still in it. Oh. That's... And the last thing we see of her is kind of her looking out of it. That's so sad. Yeah. Although, she, it was in a different position to what she was in before, so it implies she's still alive and conscious, so she might have been able to pilot the submarine away. But yeah, she deserves better. I mean, Noodle's my favourite character, but, like, Cyborg deserves better. Yeah, I mean, like, you don't just create life like that and not, like, take responsibility. She's just as, like... as much of a person as all of the rest of them. Cyborg's can be well, people, minute. too. I say, I say that, but like, um, she was basically a Terminator. And I don't mean like Terminator 2 or 3 where they do have a personality, I mean like the original Terminator. Hmm. Well, that doesn't mean that. I mean, it's a cartoon. Yeah. It's a. Oh no! Oh. What the hell? What the hell was that aim? Oh, what shit. the hell? What the hell? Oh shit. Well, actually, um, if you want to um, see all the the best music videos of Sabo Noodle in it, watch um, Dialo, Melancholy Hill, and Rhinestone Eyes. Because someone animated the storyboard. It's not official, but we did kind of get a music video for it for that. Hmm. I'm not sure, but then she only bit twice in that one. Because in um, Dialo, she's been like, she, she's been in a gunfight. And um, they're being chased by Bruce Willis. What? And she like, oh, yeah, Bruce Willis is playing like a bounty hunter that goes after them. And she just kind of like pokes her head, pokes her head out of the um, side of the car, just like pulls out a pump action shotgun, and starts blasting away at Bruce Willis before Murdoch pulls her back into the car. Hmm. I think that once this run is over, I'm going to go into extra mode uh, again yeah. and try a few times with that, and then I think we're going to sign this off, because we've been going yeah, for a fun. while. Yeah, about two hours. What's What's been happening in your life? Um, it's been uh, kind of turbulent. Oh. Yeah. I don't Honestly, really want to stay on stream. Oh yeah, sorry. Are, I don't like, wanna... Uh, I don't wanna... Sorry. Yeah, yeah, this Alex went after the uh, stream's finished, but like, um, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff recently. Hmm. Yeah. Like, like, things on the men have got a lot of it sorted. Well, that's good to hear. But yeah, like, um, a lot of shit went down. Hmm. I've got a lot of stuff myself, but... Yeah. Most of the stuff that I've got to deal with is just like, I think I... I didn't, uh, I just overestimated how difficult to, or like how long certain things would take. Yeah. Although, I did get like a lot of progress done on the accounting course today, so that's right. good. So you plan to go into accounting after or you finish uni? Uh, it's like, that's probably that one of the like, most like solid the career paths. Yeah. paths. Like, I've got a couple of other things going on. I might try and volunteer in museums if I can uh, to, oh, like, uh, have that as a potential career path. But, mm. um, yeah. I'm probably going to try and, like, actually go into the industry and start working in comics. Yeah. I wanted to, like, work in games design, but, mm. I don't know, the lack of unions is, it scares me. 
Yeah, because like, um, have you seen, um, I can't remember the name of the song, it was the one that the old ones out did with the boy in a band. Yeah, not from, I, I know that they did a song. I know that they did like, the, the we are young, life is yeah, fun. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing, about, I remember that. wait, what? Really, yeah, that's, that's that what one? I'm talking about. Yeah, because, um, oh, like, yes. there's a line in that where, um, talks about, like, I've got infinite career options. I could be a rapper or an animator if I'm lucky. Either of those will make you happy, trust me. Yeah. I think, like, I really enjoy art, but I also know that I can, like, put a little bit too much of myself in it if yeah. I'm not careful. And I know that uh, employers will definitely take advantage of that. No doubt about yeah. it. Like, like that's oh, the thing no. with, um... Like work cultures for like for a while they're saying like oh yeah the more you work the harder like the more you'll be rewarded. No, that's not but how that yeah, works. That's the thing. Yeah, like but now the reward that they're talking about is more work. Like you don't get paid by you get paid by the hour, not by the amount of work that you do. Hmm. Uh, this this run is bad. I'm gonna see it through to the end, but it's a bad run. Then again, I've been getting a lot of... I know I've said this uh, before on stream, but, like, I've been getting a lot of inspiration from, like, speedrunning videos. And just, like... There's this guy named, uh, like... I think he's co colloquially known as Arcus. I don't know what his real name is. Uh, yeah. And he's, like, a Ninja Gaiden speedrunner. And he's oh, no. put, like... 34,000 attempts into Ninja Gaiden, and that let yeah, him no. be the world record holder for a lot of years. Recently, he got dethroned, but he's still oh, doing okay. attempts. He's still, like... Yeah. Like, he's second place, and third place is, like, five seconds behind him. Yeah. Like, um, is this the original Ninja Gaiden on, like, uh, the NES? Yeah. And, like, he held like, the it... record completely unrivaled for, like, five years. Yeah. And it's all because, like, he just... He was just really dedicated. Mm. And he put over half a year of solid time into doing it. Like, I did the calculations of how long it would take for all of that to happen. And it's like, oh my god. Mm. There's not a very strong speedrunning scene for this game, which is understandable. But there yeah. are also, like, speedrunning scenes for visual novels, which I think is pretty yeah. funny. Like, the, the the leaderboard for Danganronpa is not... Like, it's, it's pretty big for yeah. a purely, like, point-and-click... Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, like... A, at most, you can call it a point-and-click adventure game, which it is in, like, yeah. the investigation phases, but... Yeah, it's like that mixed with a visual novel. Yeah, it is mainly just a visual novel. It is it is basically just all prose. Yeah. I was going to say, because that was one of the um, alternate types of comic that they suggested doing in the uh, pitch as uh, visual novels. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what Conan did when he made... The dating, look, the the shark dating simulator. Yeah. That's so fun. Um, I, yeah, I was about to make a joke about um our D and D campaign, but I don't know how much you know about it. Like you know about Percival, don't you? Percival, Shark Boy. Yeah, I was gonna say like um, I think he's got our own shark dating sim. Yes, of course. I literally did not even understand that until you said that. Yeah. I am slow on the draw. Yeah, that's fine. You don't got to be quick on the draw unless you're a cowboy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I've actually made some progress in, like, uh, uh, being uh, mentally, like, uh, diagnosed. Uh, oh, nice. So, I have... Uh, like most of the symptoms for ADHD, but 
uh, during getting diagnosed for that, uh, yeah. the doctor who was in charge uh, noted, like, he said he noted a, a lot of, like, autism symptoms, which I, I'm not super familiar with. Uh, yeah. But might be, like... One of my best friends is autistic, so I know a bit about, like, symptoms and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes my brain just, like, bounces off when I try to learn the symptoms, yeah. which is, you know, very unhelpful, considering... Like, it's, it's the ultimate irony. Like, my ADHD stops me from learning about my ADHD. Yeah, because like, I was told that I had um, Asperger's for a long time. Oh. And I don't know, I don't know, because I was never like shown an official diagnosis. Like, my mom says I have one, but she's never shown me it. Interesting. But like, so I don't know whether I actually do have Asperger's at this point, or whether I've just picked up from some behaviors as like a self-fulfilling prophecy of being told I have so for so long. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not a brain man. The doctor that I had... He's, he's great. Very, yeah. like... Very, like, warm and friendly. And that's, that's like, the main thing that I wanted. Yeah, the thing, I never really had to go to the doctor too much because I was sheltered, so I never got, like... I never got, like, seriously ill or seriously injured. Hmm. So I, don't, I, don't re I don't really have so much experience with the dogs, but I know that um, for a while, like one of the dentists I had, dentists I had was an absolute bastard. Ugh. Yeah, that's that sucks. Do you have your? You got your vaccinations, right? I all through. Uh, yeah, and also uh, monkeypox is making like the rounds. Uh, yeah. So if you don't have a oh, small po pox vaccine, oh, I do. Yeah, get we well, can get one. Get a small say, pox. I've got that one, and I've had chicken pox twice, so I have the um, antibodies for that as well. Yeah, that's good because like there's a lot of misinformation about it going yeah. around. Like some people dead ass think it's an STD. It's not. Yeah. And when school starts back up again, like the yeah. like the kids are going to be rough housing around and like hugging each other and then uh oh yeah nope, we because got another it's, outbreak it's yeah so just it's, like um, get your get your smallpox vaccine get yeah, uh, get your antibodies yeah and once they once they do have like a, a proper vaccine for monkeypox get that one yeah 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 cuz like um as i think like i think the, the symptoms are like other than the kind of normal trick box symptoms of like nausea, fever, that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like the itching part I'd be able to deal with alright because that acts for my entire life, so I'm just used to the used to it at this point. Hmm. But yeah, so um uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was talking about gorillas, wasn't I? I was trying to do a murder compression, but I failed. Because it's all made him. Yeah. Give it that! Like Winston from Overwatch. Yeah. Hit game. Hi, yeah. Activision Blizzard. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> oh, what was I saying? Yeah, because uh, I found this comic someone made of um, why are you buying clothes at the superstore, but it was murder on 2D. Yes! It's like, um... Also, I think there's like an actual brand of clothing now called Soup. Yeah, Soup. there is a clothes... Yeah, there's a, I think it's actually called Soup Store, and it, it sells clothes. Wait, is that like... Is that deliberate? It might be, I don't know how old it is. Fuck. Because, um... As I say, because, uh, like, uh... Because there were the people dubbing it, I was trying to see how well I'd be able to dub it. I cannot do 2D's voice to save my life, but I did decent at Murdoch's. It was like, um... Like... Well, there's still soup going to the next aisle! There's this more soup! What's... Where are you right now? I'm at soup! What do you mean you're at soup? I mean, I'm at soup! What store are you in? I'm at the soup store! Why am I going to the soup store? Fuck you! That's so classic. I'm off to kill God, does anyone want anything? 
<laughs> Bad news, God only drops soup. What do you mean he only drops soup? It means he only drops soup. <laughs> and get out of the increased soup drop universe. Okay, I did it again. He still only dropped soup. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fighting the primordial soup gods. That's why he only dropped soup. Fuck you. Yeah, instead of the primordial ooze, it's the primordial soup. Yeah, I mean, same difference, right? Yeah. Yeah, except this one tastes like... How does, soup. How does Kent Hovind to explain it? Well, it rained off the on the rocks for a while, and then the first form of life had to find someone to marry. Yeah. You think that the first form of life reproduced sexually? Yeah, but it could, could it? It's also really interesting if you like actually research evolutionary biology and like all of this stuff. There, oh, I don't know how to dodge that attack. Yeah. Uh, but like, it's like um in the Marvel vs. Capcom three when you're fighting Galactus, he has this one attack that takes off the entire screen, and there's literally no way to dodge it. You can only block and hope that you survive. Oh no. I mean, wasn't it like he was like this legendarily difficult boss fight? Oh yeah, he was. It, like, I only play on easy difficulty and it still takes me like multiple tries to beat him every time I try. Oh no. I... Oh. I still might get up to Flandre. But uh, I am very close to death. You can do it. Yeah, I can do it. You're right. I gotta believe. Just like my hero, Parappa the Rapper. Oh. I've only actually played Parappa the Rapper once. And I'm shit at it. I just died. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'll give it a few more goes. Once I once I get to Flandre and then die, then I'll end the stream. Because it's coming up on two hours. Yeah, you got like a minute left until two hour mark. And then I'll uh I don't have anything actually going on tomorrow, but I'll I'll keep on trying on the accounting course. Uh yeah. Oh you got it, dude. I, I I just remembered I've got I have soup. Uh, I have soup that I cooked for dinner tonight, and uh, it's uh, on the. It's 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 still in the kitchen, and it's uh, cooling down, so I can put it in the fridge. I probably do that moment without the kitchen having a problem. What? Because I can't really do that moment without the kitchen having a problem. No. Oh. Oh no, the rice fairy. This is like, it'll probably take a few seconds for you to like uh, catch up, but there's that yeah, fairy yeah, that has the very that. complicated pattern. That fairy is coded so that you cannot kill them until like, until their pattern is done. Oh, all right. Is it the uh, purple head girl? Uh, no, the purple head girl is the, the mini boss. Uh, and also the boss of stage four, my run killer. So you're you're pretty close to where the stream is at, or where I'm at, or the stream is something. Tell me when you see me die. I'm on the your adult screen. 
Yeah. Okay, you're pretty you're you're like very close. That's that's nice. Yeah. Rice fairy. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do this. Well, I do. I'm just um, I start building some the model kit. Sorry. Did I mention that I building Gundam model kit recently? I maybe? Sounds yeah, familiar, Pierce. I've got two at the moment. I've got um, Perfect Strike Freedom from Breakers and uh, Gundam Wing Zero from End of Fault. That's a really cool one because it has like actual eight and seven wings. Hmm. I really want to get Effie on because that was my favourite, but it's really fucking expensive. The best way I can describe Epion is like, if Shadow the Hedgehog had a Gundam, it would be Epion. <laughs> it's black and red, Pilot's very edgy, and he has green energy. Like, um, like he's a. I don't, I don't think he uses a Gundam, he has a cauldron of power whip. Both of those are green. <laughs> We're close. We're getting really close to the boss fight, like, I'm just a few mistakes. Ooh. Yes! I got to the end and I got another 1-up, because there are two 1-ups yep. in this stage. And now... You don't have the sound on, so it's not, like, as impactful, but, like... This woman is, like, probably one of the strongest characters in the lore. Yeah. And... I forget, I forget the series has war. Yeah, it does. But then it's also like very fan run, like yeah. because of all of the you you know the deal with uh with like there is the mainline games, but also it's like the copyright is the way that like the developer allows everyone to make their own fan works and sell them for profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to be very lax about the uh, fan creation. Yeah, and in fact, like, fan creations are a huge part of, like, the direction of the series. Mm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, this is one of the most powerful characters. In fact, I think in the most recent, like, fighting game, she's, like, the most powerful. Wait, what's the fighting game? Yeah, there's... There's... So... Oh, wait, it's the, Arcana Heart. Wait, am I thinking of something else? No, the... There's, there's a Toho fighting game which is part of the main line, and it's always uh, Toho something point five. Okay, I'm about to... I'm probably about to die, but... 
It's okay. Because we can learn from this. Yeah? Any of the Mega Man games? Yeah. I... Oh! I don't think I have! What? How can that be the case? How can I not have played any Mega Man? Because I'm like a pretty big Mega Man fan, but I've, like, I've only played a couple of games and I've played all of the Zero series. Um, X and 1, X and Oh yeah. But the Zero uh, series is like... Two, Mega Man 11. A big deal, right? Um, well, it's kind of a spin-off. It's uh, not as well-known as Mega Man and Mega Man X, but it is very popular. And it's my, they're my favourite Mega Man games. Hmm. I can't believe... Because, like, like, they're really dark as well. Like, they... Like, for kids' games, they tackle, like, the horrors of war. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, very familiar with the plot of Mega Man. And I almost bought Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, yeah. Which, you know, good that I didn't, but... Oh, uh, I don't think I've actually played, like, any... act. I, I've played some Mega Man fan games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't think... I don't think I've ever actually... That's so weird. It feels well, like it's yeah, been I'm such a big part like, of my yeah. life. Especially yeah, my like, childhood. Um, I definitely give like the classic games and some of the X games ago. Yeah, I know that there's like, like not yeah. a lot in recent years that that's good. That, that's that good. And so the only Mega Man game we've got since like 2010 was um, Mega Man 11. Huh. Even then, like Mega Man 9 and 10 were both downloads. Yeah. Huh. I gotta, I gotta do that. I think that that's probably something um, that I can do, like not even that difficult. Really. Yeah, because like if you're playing on a lot of difficulties, they are pretty easy games. It can be challenging, but like, mm. like they have different scales. So if you just want the story and some fun gameplay, go for like one of the easy ones. If you want the challenge, go for the harder difficulties. Yeah, Mega Man Two is the one with Air Man in it, right? Yeah, I can't do feet. Yeah, man. That was definitely um, in sync, wasn't it? <laughs> there was, um. Uh, what was it? Yeah, there was, um, Airman, Woodman, Cutman. Uh, the original song was, uh. Airman, Gata, Jose, Naiho. Uh, and then there was also a verse about Woodman. But I think that's the. Yeah. I think Quick Man is a separate song because it's a cover of his theme from uh, the game, which is like um. Hmm. Yeah, there was um. How much was there? Was um eight Rebel Knights. There was six in the original game, and there was eight in Mega Man Two, which was the standard. Yeah, there was a Woodman, Airman. Quick man, cut man. Is uh, what's the what's the guy who's like the most weak to his own uh, weapon? Like Buzzman or something? Buzzman. Like I, the, I'm looking up, the saw blade, looking blade man. That sounds right. Oh, right? um, there's a there's a moth. There's a Buzzman, moth in my... Buzzman, saw man. What was it? Ah, uh, fuck him. Um... Metal man. That was it. Metal man. Hmm. But we're we're definitely like I think this is where the the stream ends. Yeah. So is there like I don't know, we've got one viewer in uh right now. Uh yeah. is there is there anything you'd like to say to our one viewer and our VOD watchers? Um, don't do school, stay in drugs. Um, like the Boogaloo. Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, I hope you have a wonderful man, day. Man, bubble man, quick man, crash man, flash man, heat man, and wood man. 
Let me let me finish this tree.